Well, well, a lot of people seem to kind of count you out in this fight. I think you said that you were getting a lot of flack on social media from everyone, and that kind of fueled your fire for this fight. How did it feel to kind of prove the critics wrong and get out there and get that W? Just to make a quick correction, it didn't really fuel my fire. It kind of like it. It kind of took away my fire, um, because as a person who I feel like I come in here and I do my best to um, to put on fights for the fans, uh, just to get like you know what I mean, just to get a lot of MMA fans and be like, oh, this guy's gonna knock you out, or you know what I mean, like that. To me, I was just like, man, then what do I do it for if it's not for the fans, you know? So it turned around, and I just like I do it for myself, and um, definitely happy to to have it done it in such fashion. I know that you, earlier at the PI when we all talked to you, you didn't really have a vision or an idea of how it was gonna go and you were kinda just gonna let it go. You didn't wanna come in with any expectations, but when you went in there, is this somewhere in your mind? Is this how you thought it would play out? Or did you just, was it taking it as it came? I take it as it comes, man. I told you guys that the first the first week. Um, Obviously, like when I when I put myself into the situation and I kind of put my ego into the situation, um, obviously I wanted I I want all my fights to end in a knockout. That's just that's what I do, you know. Um, but I was prepared for everything. I didn't know what I would have to do in order to win the fight. Um, but I do know that you know when the time comes, if I touch someone with the left hand, like a lot of times they go down. It's happened numerous times. So like. You know, I was, I was, and I had a little bit of hope that that would happen, but um, I wasn't banking on it. I wasn't. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna. It happened. <laughs> when you hit him with that left, what was going through your head? Did you know he was finished? No, it just like it was a reaction, man. Like it was, I, I don't even think I looked at him. I think I just stepped in and just kind of threw a left, just in case he was in the area, and he was. I actually think it was off of a left kick. Um. But then when I saw him drop, like I kind of took my time because in the past, like I've rushed into things like the Tyson Pedro fight. I dropped him with a left, and I tried to rush him, and ended up getting submitted. So I don't know what that guy's been working on, you know. So I dropped him, and then I looked at him, and I saw that his eyes were all over the place. So I figured I, figured I would just go and finish him. Was was that counter something you saw in his previous fights, or that he was open to, or was that just pure instinct? And it's pure instinct. Yeah, it's pure instinct. I I told um. I told someone else, like, we didn't really have a game plan going into this fight, and that was something that was pretty nervous, too. Uh, that Something that made me a little bit nervous is, like, there was no game plan. There was no studying tape. There was no, hey, if he throws this and throw that. Like, there was none of that. It was just, like, trust yourself. Trust yourself and go in there and do what you do, and that's one of the things. He threw a kick, and I countered left. Now that you have this experience to compare to other fights where you did prepare mm -hmm. and watch tape and all that, uh, how do you, what do you think? How are you going to move forward? Are you going to continue with this method or uh no change no i just continue with the flow of life man like you know like there's going to be things that are going to change um circumstances places um training partners uh but at the end of the day i'm going to continue to um to learn that's the biggest thing is just learning in this in this whole thing um i see some of the guys um in black belts and jujitsu and stuff and the, those guys never stop learning, right? They're always in the gym, and so that's just my journey. And I'll learn something in next fight week when I'm when it's time to go. Like I'm sure it'll be something different that I've learned and applied to my life. Yeah. Sorry. What? Um, what did it feel like? Just the, the, that, that that crowd, that what, fifteen thousand people, or the, just just the shock. And what what did that? What did it feel like? Like I said, I turned it around this this time because before I would want to do a lot of things for the fans. This time, I just like, I saw the fans, but it wasn't something that I was like, oh, I'm gonna put on a performance, like I needed this for myself. So what it felt like was just, it just like, I just kind of like knocked a big demon off my shoulder or something, you know, I was just like, boop, like, okay, like what's next? Like, it wasn't something that was really like, uplifting or, I, it's, it's hard to really explain, yeah, but it's sure. just like, I don't know if, if you've, I've dealt with a lot, and so for it to finally be over, I'm not like, hooray, but I'm like, now I can continue to, to like, I got a win, got some extra money, I can take care of my family the way that I want to, and move forward and get better and just progress in life. So it was, it was a different feeling than previous knockouts. Yeah, it wasn't a hurrah, it wasn't a, you know, like, it, it was definitely different. Like, it, I, I just feel myself, I feel myself growing and moving forward, so.
That's great, Philly. Thanks. On a lighter note, how do you celebrate now? Uh, Summer's here, what are you doing? Um, just take my family out, you know, just see them happy, see them smile, and then, uh, yeah, and then go see my girlfriend. It's been a while. It's been a few months. I had to come do some training and kind of separate. So, yeah, man, I'm just ready to just see the people that I love, like, all just psyched together, you know, and be there with them without having a fight on my mind right now. Yeah, because that's something that we've – that I've lacked in, you know, in the past few months just because I've been so focused. So, yeah. Thank you. Congrats. Awesome. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you.